so we had a test that I wanted to give you guys. And what that test was, you guys be moving around the earth and you guys be taking points and figure out the distance at midpoint from city to city. We decided to take that, that test and we changed it to where it fits the iPads and Google Earth. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be given points. You guys have to find your final destination or you guys have to find the midpoint. Once you guys find that midpoint or find that final destination, you guys search that online. You guys will come up with a Google image and you're going to get a picture of using your iPad. Okay, so use the correct formula to find the point on the globe. Using Google Earth to navigate to that point. Zoom in, write down what you guys see. If you guys get the correct point, you guys zoom in close enough, you should see all these things clearly. They're all large items you can see very well. Take a picture by holding the uh, holding down the power button and then pressing the home key. So hold the power button, press the home key, and release it, and it takes a picture. If you guys hold down too much or too long on the, on the power key, it's going to want to turn off. So don't, don't do that. All right, now remember, when we have coordinates, guys, north or south, east or west, that's what you guys are given. What do we need to do with those coordinates, though? We need to reverse them around. So the east and west are our x values, and that north and south are going to be our y values. Don't forget that when you guys do that, okay, that your south and your west values are going to be negative. So the first one I want you guys to do, and here's what we have to remember, okay? Your north and your south, that's your y. East and your west, that's your x. If you're going down, that's negative, and if you're going across, that's negative. So remember to change your coordinates to x, y when you first get them, and to label the, F, the, uh, the west and the south uh, coordinates as negative. These are the formulas for distance and midpoint. And once you guys find your answer, you're going to go ahead and figure out where that is on the globe. So make sure you guys turn on your, uh, turn on your iPad, turn your calculator. Open up to Google Earth. Everybody locate Google Earth and open it up. Some quick things about Google Earth. At the very top where we have the uh, wrench, okay, what I need you guys to do is go click on the wrench. When you guys click on the wrench, let's, let's get the flare off there. You see where it says position? Right here on position, click on position. Make sure you guys are all the way down there at the bottom where you have decimals. Okay. Click on position, make sure you have decimals. Okay, make sure auto tilt is off. I want you guys to keep that. I want you to practice real quick. You guys see a, a, the earth? You guys see a globe or you guys are zoomed in on something? I want you to practice taking a picture. And you'll know you take a picture when the, when the uh, screen makes a little click. You can hear the click sound and it flashes. So hold down the power button at the top. And then press down the home screen, release, and it, and it does a little flash to a picture. Now those pictures are going to be saved in your photo album. At the end of class, we're going to take all those photos that you guys saved and put them in the Dropbox. That way, I can, I can get them. Okay. 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 All right. Now here's a sample question of what you guys have. Find the midpoint. Take a picture of the location. So we have two points. We're going from this location to this location. So what's the first thing you guys should do when we get these coordinates? I need to flip them, rewrite them, okay? And north is going to be what kind of number, positive or negative? Positive. And east is going to be positive or negative? Positive. So my first coordinate is going to be, my x value is 171. And you guys have the calculators today because there are so many decimals, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time dividing out these, these decimals. You must include every single number, though, or it's going to get you guys, uh, it's going to cause you to have some mistakes. So I have 618 How do I find my midpoint of those two items? Because I need to find the midpoint. I'm heading from this location to this location. So I have my midpoint. What's the for midpoint? X1 plus X2, cut in half. And you guys have Y1 plus Y2, cut in half. Now on your paper, you guys will notice that you have a front and a back. The backs are both empty. That's where you guys can jot down some stuff. If you need to write down some stuff, what you're going to need to do, use the backs as your scratch paper. So everybody turn your calculator and follow along with me. Okay. In order to figure out this right here, type in your x1 and your x2, add them together, and then divide it in half and see what your coordinates going to be. Add your y's together, cut them in half, figure out what your coordinates going to be, write them down. So figure out your coordinates and then write them down. Now, if you guys do this incorrectly, you guys try and zoom in on a location and there's nothing there, what should that tell you? Wrong location. That you might, they might probably make the wrong location. 
Um, some of them you may need to zoom in quite a bit. Now you're not, you don't have to zoom in for your like two feet above the, above the surface, but you know, um, some of them you can see from miles out, and some you have to get pretty close. But if you are off, if your coordinates are off, if you type the wrong numbers in the wrong order, it will need different numbers. So what do we get as our first? What's our x value going to be? What'd you guys give me out of this together to divide in half? Three five three nine five. All right, and then my other, my y would be what? 29.9358.1. All right, now if I were to type those in my my iPad, if I'm going to type those in Google Earth, how should I type them in? What number do I type in first? I got to reverse them back. Okay, so that's my north right here. This is north, and this right here is going to be my east. So when you guys go to type them in, I want you guys to see. Turn your turn your, turn your iPad sideways to where it turns. It's locked. We'll unlock it for you. Or lock the type in 29 on the search bar, type in 29.93581. So, click on your search bar. Alright, once you guys type in that number, type in all the digits. Then you're going to type in N. Now type comma. Type in 122353953935E. Now, when you guys have a negative number, what does that negative tell you to do? What would negative be? You guys type in a negative into the iPad? That like the southern. You need to turn it to an S, or you need to turn it into a W. All right, one, two, two, point three, five, and hit search and see what you guys find. So I hit search, and this is where it's taking me. You guys find it? You're going to have to like, let it go for a little bit. Sometimes we're on the, we're on the internet, so it may, may slow up a little bit. You guys find the location? You guys zoom in? Where did you find the airplane? It looks like an airplane. What is that? It's a pool of an airplane. It's a pool? It's a pool. That's a pool right there, in the shape of an airplane. That sounds like an airplane. Why isn't it like blue? I don't know. Where are you seeing so, yeah, that's yeah. so cool. All these items you guys find are real, and they're there. Now, I need to get a picture of that, guys. So once I find it, I zoom in where you can yeah. see it, and I get a picture. Okay, so hey. zoom in, hold it. That's a big hole. All right, then I move on to my next question. All right, what'd you get? What'd you find? The, it's like a rock Mongolian guy. Looks like the guy from Move On. <laughs> what do you got there? Can you take a picture of it now and uh, move on to the next. Write down what you, what you saw as well. Hey, Mitch, G, what is the? What do you think it is? A pool of a man. It's a pool of a man? It's actually a lake. That's a house right there. That's a lake? That's a huge lake, dude. Are you serious? Man made. Dang. No, it was it was like that in nature. We just found it, stumbled upon it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take a picture of it. And then move